Hello there everyone, welcome to the YouTube video here on the channel. My name is Emily Jane and I'm also known as the Northern Princess. Today we are here at Lindau Ausbahnhof on the RSS Hello, on RSS Hello's Algebarn route. Today we are going to be driving from here on the regional train to Immenstadt scenario, as the name suggests, as far as Immenstadt station. Total time on route is about 57 minutes, just under an hour. What we'll do is we'll hop into the cab, the, the, the 245, and get ready for departure. So in the cab, it's a fairly simple starter process. We'll press set the reverser to forward. I'm going to open up both side windows. And then enable the safety systems so AFB can come on. PCB can come on and so can CFS. So I have to control enter, shift enter, and shift A in reverse order. Now, as we're getting ready to depart from here, I'm trying to set a bit of brake. Because now that we've woken the cab, we can cause the train to roll back if we're not careful. And I'm going to set the cruise control to 30. Here comes a BR101. I'm also going to press the H key just the once. Just set my headlights today running. So I can mark a lights mode, where we don't really need illumination of the track in front of us. But it just makes us a bit more obvious. So, um, that is the cab set up for departure. We should be departing momentarily. About 15 seconds, I believe. And what we'll do is we're just going to hang, hang it at the side like this. Because there's no internal key as to when the doors are closed, we're just going to use this to, to, to confirm it. There go the doors. Closed and locked. So what we'll do is freeze brake and take power. So this is a very similar to the Vectron, if you guys remember when we drove that. I don't because I say these are not going out in the order I recorded them in. But um, this is actually a more modern version where um, we have effectively a tapping controller. So we're currently in neutral throttle. That's throttle increase. That throttle decrease, and then we have the same for for uh, e-braking. We've then got a tapping brake controller for the brake, and we've also got the loco brake, which I just put and released. Yeah, so it's a bit of a different system. We we'll clear the uh, PZB, and we'll continue out. So as we cross over the points, the speed limit increases to 40 kilometers an hour as the, as the local goes over. So if correction 40 kilometers an hour for seven miles there. You can see I can just tap the controller up and it also gives me much better precision. So I can, that's about 30 to 38 kph I can set in the, in the window there, which makes that look correct. And I've got the 80 there. So we'll, we'll wait until we pass the 80 until we accelerate the throttles. So. Lindau is in the southeast corner of Germany on the border with Liechtenstein, uh, and we'll continue down to Immenstadt, which is, I say, about 70 kilometres to the east of us, 68 and a half from the departure point east of us, uh, and that is the uh, the route we're taking today. We'll throttle up to 80 kilometres now. We'll clear the CIFA. I hope you guys have all been doing really well. I've been quite enjoying recording. Well, I've, I've recorded two videos today, which is. Actually, above average, uh, above standard for me. I'm just going to sound my horns at the, at the more rural crossings, because uh, like this one, which isn't protected by a um, by a barrier, just to make sure that you know no one's definitely going to try and cross in front of us and commit and commit Scooby side. Um, we'll continue down the line here. So we actually keep 80 for quite some time on the route. Um, it's this isn't this is f far from being a fast run, put it that way. But it's still pretty good fun, um, and I've actually been really enjoying. I enjoyed the note taking run on this.
can hear, to me this sounds a lot like a Class 68 does. So this is part of the Tracked family. So my apologies, not so much of a veteran, it's the opposite family. But it's one of the, the younger members of the Tracked family, shall we say. Broken Wikipedia on my phone. That's going well. So at 149.2, I've got 2k until we can accelerate to 90. Yeah, so these locos are really quite powerful. You, you'll see as we accelerate up hills and stuff, it just has no problem. It's just straight in there. can see our maximum speed is 140. So we'll do a quick capture at this stage, or actually we'll do it after we accelerate because I'm going the acceleration part otherwise. You can see we've got some nice super elevation so it feels like we're really, you know, sort of bleeding into these turns. So there's the 90. Remember we've got three coaches behind so it's not that far. Probably halfway across this bridge we'll accelerate. There's a little local freight. And again, I'm just putting print what, what looks like 99 in the window. But correction, 89. And that means that we can uh, you know, hold this nice high speed without being too concerned. We've actually got some little wobbly speed changes. Speed limit will actually drop back down to 80 in the not too distant future. So yeah, we'll keep an eye out before we do a cab tour. Pizza. Okay, so we'll do a piece of big knowledge. back in. What I'll do is just put 80 in the window. There you go, and our speed limit then increases to 110 and then drops back down to 100. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a wobbly speed change. The 80 posts. And clear the restriction off PZB because that's not correct. Well, I could leave it in at 85 because we're not going to go over that for a little while, but still. So at 600 meters until we can do 110. 110 is about 70 miles an hour. So as you can, you know, as you can see, it's not a particularly fast run this at all. But that doesn't matter. Um, you know, it's a it's a regional route. Our first stop, by the way, is around 23 kilometres from Lindau, and that is Hergatz. Yeah, Hergatz. There's the one ten. Alrighty, um, I'm just going to notch that up a slight bit, so we can now do 110, there we go, we 
because we're not touching the throttle or the uh, brake when we do that notch up in speed, then basically the train doesn't care. And I'd give the train full power. I thought basically I... So the way it works is with the tapping controller, you select how much power you want the train to be able to deploy. And then it chooses how much power it puts down, thanks to the AFB. Probably the best way I can explain it. I'm going straight back out to 100, I'm afraid. Even though there's no magnets here. So we'll drop down to 100 at 1414. So about eight, it's about 600 meters now. So we'll give it about 300 until we drop down. I mean, to be honest, that it's 8k we need to drop. So it's not a massive amount of time that's needed for it. Okay, and I know we need to go to 110. Correction, 100. You saw nothing. There we go. Straight back up to 110, as you can see. It's quite a, a shuffly part of the, the route there, in terms of speed limits. Um, 110 in the window. You can hear it sounds, I say, a lot to me. That, that's what, like, high pitch tone sounds a lot like a 68 when it's under load. Why am I not. Okay, we're going for hill. And the train's just taking a moment to uh, put power down. Yeah, it's a little bit less bassy, but you can still hear that sort of that high pitch whine. That sounds a lot like the 68 to me. And we're about to catch up and probably overshoot, but, yeah. Uh, and go up to 120 at the So the Cifra in this train has the same logic as it does in the Vectron, that you have to press and hold rather than just tap it, like you would in AWS for example. We can still accelerate this train's maxed at Also a point of interest, I think this 130 limit isn't actually in the route, but the HUD increased to it, so I trust that it's here basically. So we'll go and Wazek 130 in there. Ooh, stuttery stuttery. There's another 245 coming the other way, that's what we look like. So we've got about 4k now, so we've got about a minute, a couple of minutes. So, to cap two, we'll go from left to right this time, why not? You've got PZB, PZB override, PZB free, PZB acknowledge. You've got your sanding, you've got your headlights, which is high beam, off, normal beam, which is what we're on now, horn. Space behind the beaky. Cab lights. 
I'm sure the same logic as a vector in, so you tap it forward, you get your desk light, you tap forward again, if that goes off, pull it back, cab light, you can also have both at the same time. Or not at all. But you've got the AFB controller, which as mentioned, uh, when I was talking about uh, moving away, you push it forward, that selects a faster speed limit, a faster speed, you leave it sent to see a recent rate, that holds the speed, reduce it, attack to lower speed, to the right of that, with the purple, I say push, push away from you, accelerate to put towards you, it slows down. That's the uh, throttle, and you, you've got the uh, direction control switch, got door controls. Three-ish counting, stop paying attention. You've got a speedometer, power brake indicator, PZB, LZB controls, Ebola, again not operational, uh, brake release, windscreen wiper controls, brake lever, loco brake, main circuit breaker pattern of graph rays lower that's in the cab i believe for because this, this can be converted to running on electricity or buy mode hence it's in there um you've then got the door controls and the local brake you've also got brake gauges there and we go made that with a kilometer is fine i actually had a good revelation before this video i figured out finally after a month of living in here that i can open the window in my room I was getting really quite sort of stuffy and quite fed up with just sitting here working. So I got up and opened it and got some fresh air, which was really nice. Got rid of some of the smell. You know, it's not that I'm dirty or anything, but it's just, you know, you sit in a room for enough time, it will smell like, like you do. Okay, I will now just stop. Just do a precautionary reduction of speed. Yep, station's going to be on the right. Break off. Maybe a bit of juice. Come on, brakes release. That's bad. That is a slow brake release. Alright, we're coming up on the station here. So I've got a bit slow there. We're running at 40k, which is on the slow side, but it's doable. So it looks like a steel train arriving at the platform at the same time we do. Again, 363 leading it. And we just, we're just going to stop on the first stop marker, the 60 minute stop marker. No, come on. No, we'll just stop here. So stop, break apply, door release. Welcome to our first stop, which is Hergatz. Our next stop is Heimenkirch, which I can't pronounce. Just confirming the doors are definitely open. Yes, they are. Um, and then Rothenbach, Oberstaufen, and Immenstadt, which is 45k to go. Woo -woo. We've definitely got the slow part of the journey behind us, but it's a total journey time of over around 55 minutes. interesting when I look at various models in Train Simulator, because obviously I've got the experience of knowing the staff who created them. I say it gets quite interesting, because I can look at stuff like that, and some of the models I can tell who's made them, just based off certain things, and it's really strange. Um, but they got doors closed, so we've got to go. Brake release, and we'll just push the power up. So I start up a hill out of here, and now we can put Unfortunately, 130 is as fast as we go on on this run, so it's 120 in the window for this next stage. The 120 limit is just up the top of this hill, but basically we wouldn't reach, well, we barely reach it in time. Sorry, so it's basically just hardly worth having it on.
There we go, 120. I say this loco is definitely designed, I think, for sort of reasonably heavy freight. And obviously, as soon as you stick it on a passenger train, it, you know, especially one that's three carriages long, even Dostos, it just has no problems. The 100 limit comes into force at 1272. It's 1278 to 600 metres. So, what I'll do is just. Notch it down like that. Get the thiefer. And the train now uh, slow down. Again, it's it, it's one of those things. Always better to be slow down 200 metres too early than 200 metres too late. do a quick track plan map of the route. So we've covered this section so far, we're now rounding this this, this turn and our next stop is here at, Heig at Heigenbrucker and we're going as far as Immenstadt Im uh, which is here which is sort of a, a Y shape in the route with this bit going down to uh, Oberstdorf and the other part going to Camden. which we'll be covering that in separate parts. It's a pair of 245 seating an express. About two kilometres, we can then nudge back up to um, 120. One of the things I like about TSW is you get achievements for things like, um, you know, like clearing it enough CIFA warnings. I feel like I've done a couple of dozen on this this run already. One of the things I find really interesting is how the landscape on the route changes as well, or on the routes changes. Because so I've just recorded the Dresden Shona run today, or a run from Dresden Shona if you haven't seen it already. Um, and you've got high cliffs, towering cliffs, whereas this is more sort of rolling valleys. And you can see how steep it is though, you know, you can <laughs> see there's quite a, a noticeable difference in height. Station at Heimkirch is at 119.2. Uh, so I'm going to break at about 120.2. One, well, yeah, 122. So a kilometre from now. And, you know, get down to, to sort of 50 and at the platforms at that speed. And the, yeah, that should be a set. I do definitely prefer driving around a nice day to driving in the frame like I did on the uh, Vectron video. It's, it's difficult because I'm recording videos on mass right now and pardon me I normally talk about you know what I've done in the previous video or something that happened in the previous video pardon me but I'm not sure what video you guys are going to see next so yeah
We've got the station on the curve there. Yep, you can, well, it's, it's that area there it's in pretty much. Yeah, I slowed down a little on the early side, but I'll just use a bit of conventional braking. Break off, break off, break off. Power on. There we go. And we'll just coast into the station. Clear that. And we'll reach the doors. Welcome to Heimkirch Station. So our next stop is Rothenbach, and as you can see, we're only sort of half an hour from Immenstad now. So we're just under the halfway mark. Rothenbach is pretty much halfway, by distance at least. So for those of you who are, t are sick and tired of me, sorry, <laughs> a little while longer yet. Um. a bit of a tidy up today which was good I say it's just I don't want to moan too much about my work for obvious reasons but yeah there we go doors are gone so doors just shut so put that down put the power down get out of here except our start speed is 110 but it just it has felt rather tough lately recording videos or to record videos you know even sort of taking care of stuff at home has been a lot of effort. Let's come back. So, see if it's sprang, sprang, there's nothing we can do about it. Basically, hold the brake and release. As soon as brakes come off, power goes back in, we can move away again. Well, there we go. You can see how quickly we accelerate. I'm going to look at the particle effects. It would be nice to see them change speed based on the power setting. Because if you're idling, then that is about right, I would say. If you're, you know, under power like we are now, it's shooting out the roof, isn't it? Because there's more petrol being burnt. Or diesel. So the next hazard working out for you can see it there is the warning for the 80. So I'll clear that alert. Which is fine. So can't clear it, so I've got to slow it down. There we go. Can now just knock out the uh we have a static break. Put 80 in the window. So, unfortunately, it sticks us into restricted monitoring, so we have to break to 80 as soon as we acknowledge a speed warning. Even though that speed warning from it may be for a speed above 8, 85, you know, and that is, I don't believe, correct modelling. And it takes a little while for you to be able to clear it because you have to slow down before you can clear it, basically. 
because what happens is if you don't if you don't so if you don't acknowledge it and slow down to, so if you don't acknowledge the speed change and slow down to the prerequisite speed in time it, it causes your kinds of problems basically so you're now getting into the hillier part of the route if I'm not mistaken no we need to put power down because it's going to be too much in this curve Rotten back. You may find it funny if you Google DB. Re oh, come on, train! I'm not that bad a driver. You may find it hilarious, funny. Sorry, if you Google DB Regio. Um, there, there's an advert, which is basically um, it's four, it's a four four two. So obviously we can go on this route, but it's um, I I shared it in. The aspirant gaming some back there at the moment to chat, um, just just as a joke to see how the COC members would react to it. And one of the guys who's German was like, "No, just nuke Bavaria." But I think we're, I think this is I think, wait, where is Bavaria? I think this is Bavaria, right? Here we go. This must be Bavaria. Yes, it is. I think. Yep, we're in Bavaria. Well, we started it. We started outside of Bavaria, but I think we're driving into it. So, um, yeah. I just think Bavaria is nice. Basically, apparently, all the all the stereotypes of Germany are, are those of, of the Bavaria. Hmm. That's our southeastern corner. There you go. There go the doors. All right, power down. And away we go. It's the Alcabon route. Yep. So it's Oberstaufen next. At 13k. Got another 245 pair coming towards us. This time some containers. Nice. Which looks surprisingly like FSA wagons, but what do I even know, right? But yeah, basically, it's a DB Regio advert. It's a little bit cringy. It's basically a rap about DB Regio. Um, yeah, a little bit on the cringy side. Right. Um, 104. No, we, yeah, we've got another 10k at 80 now. It's another, about another 10 minutes. Well, just under. Oh, actually, well, it's cost about 6. I know 10 minutes on just about under. It's close to about 6. Yeah, I know. But it's 9k, and if you think, just the way I'm mathsing it, well, it's, it was eight, eight-ish k. We'll call it. So eight k. Um, you know. So basically, at eighty. Eight k is a tenth of an hour. A tenth of an hour is six minutes. And that's. So it's 
so yeah as you can see it's some really pretty steep gradients on this you know I, you know this is, bear, bear in mind I got you know in a car this would be nothing but in a train you know A 10% grade in a train is quite a lot, basically. So it's... Is that all? Yeah, it's a 1 in 10, which that's steeper than the Licky. The Licky inclines 1 in 13, I believe. You can see why it's an 80 limit. I mean, going down this would be hard to keep... <laughs> You'd be struggling to keep control. I suppose you struggle to keep control regardless of what speed you're doing. I guess it's the stopping distance becomes massive. Would you look at that? The day. The freaking day. I'm not in a position to record anything in the South. in England. AP releases their buddy 455 back. Grr! <laughs> Honestly, um, I, I, I wasn't expecting it to come this soon. But it is what it is. I'm a bit pepped out at the moment. Because it is just. You know, you've, we've had 313, 315, 317. And now now they're DC cousin. They're the 455. Like, what else can we have in, the, you know, in that family? Well, nothing, because the family's now done. But, yeah. To be honest, the 455 has needed, needed an EP for a while. So, now all we need is the 166. <laughs> that thing needs to be burnt and built from the ground up. That's cool. I can open the door, but it doesn't affect the sound, which is a shame. I'll open that when we come to disembark. I believe when we stop at Image Town, we're going to have another shunt, a shunt to take over and run the train around for its return to uh, Lindau. But it, uh, yes, I say I like the feel of this route. It feels like a sort of, you know, very much a secondary route, but still double tracked. And yeah, I'm hoping to, um, I say, you know, cover as many of these as I can, then upload them on mass, and then you know, probably do two videos a week. And I mean, at the moment I've already got two weeks coverage done, you know. So just need to do some today, some tomorrow. I can do three today, and because I'm doing stuff with my dad tomorrow, if I can do, I suppose I could probably do four today because I'm going to do a short, two short ones um, for the rest of this route next. But I'll probably give it a break because we'll be we'll be driving this train again, and like you know, sometimes you can drive the same route twice. But the same train on the same route just seems a bit weird. Yeah, this is, for some reason, you know, this is one of my favourite diesels that I have that's German. Um, it would be the 218, which I'll probably use, actually. I 
just I don't like it. There's something about it I just don't like. Hey, a 100. Works all right passing this next sign. We'll give it two seconds after it actually because I'm stuck. Happy. There you go. 112233. Up to 100. Let's send it. It's got full send. Bad news though. In 1.8k, we have to slow down to a 70. I'll be slowed down to a 70, I should say. And then we enter a station. Um, our last, well, one of our last stations, I should say. Which is Ob Obistafen. Obistafen? Obistafen. Close. What about my best phone, then? Is anything else? Scumbaggery. Well, this is how you deal with this scumbag with this scumbag game. So you deal with the lady yelling angry in German. You open the cab door, you jump out, and you run away. I seriously, I wonder if that's ever happened. That a driver's just basically left a train in a good slip and just left. <laughs> just been like, okay, I hate my life. So we pip, he said, be free to release it, brake off, power forward, engine revs up, hopefully we don't get a rollback, power going in, away we go. Now we are on a limit to 45 for this segment, so I'm going to pull that back rapidly. So we just need to wait 800 meters basically until we can clear that and then we can carry on. I said 600 meters to the 70, so we can probably just clear this and go up to the 70. Correction, it will self clear. Yeah, I've got to wait until it self clears. There we go. No, not you. And up to the 70 we go. I'm just going to do that. Got a 30 warning. There's no magnets, but it's always bad to hit the acknowledge. I've got to say, the second run of this has felt a lot shorter than the first one. The first one, I felt like I couldn't prob I couldn't get through it on a video because there was just not enough to do in the first section. But that's good. What I'll do is from a throttle to idle. Let the speed decay naturally. And the station's basically around this curve. Oh look, there's another regional express in, in the platform. We stop roughly down the end. No, we're not ha we're not doing this train, we're not doing this. Repeat not doing this. So I'm going to stop roughly at the end uh, of the concourse, not the concourse, the canopy. There we go, put my brake on. I'll do me. And on a platform like this you have the guards it right out here, you know, just so we can see all the doors, or they can see all the doors. That's one of the things I, I'm going to feedback about RSSLR models. She just they, they all just look far too happy to be here. Okay, this guy does. It's almost like a sarcastic smile. Doors closing. That was well timed. So I'll set our speed to 30. And away we go! So yes, the start speed here is 30, because you can see the 30 limit comes into force at the tunnel. It's probably just to go through the tunnel we need it, but yeah. Gorgeous view down the valley there. 
I guess what I was saying about towering cliffs earlier. I meant actual like sheer cliff faces. This is more sort of just rolling, really, really valleys. And they're not small, but they're just they're not, you know, sheer cliffs either. I think we're going to come at this time past the cliff as well, which is going to be really annoying. As you can see, we've got the 80 as we come off the curve here. I think it'll probably just be that tunnel's considered weak or something, so we've got to go through it slowly so we don't vibrate it too much. I'm going to give a blast on the horn just because of the fact that we've been going quite slowly. This this barrel will have been down a while, that's when people are going to start cutting corners. Um, so I'll just give it a, a couple of potatoes after this sign, and then we'll go up to 80. One potato, two potato, three potato, four potato. There we go. Up to 80 we go. We do actually have to go to 110 before the end of the route. But, oh, by the way, it is in Minstadt next, which is 16.89 kilometres from uh, the last stop. So about 15k from here. That wasn't me farting, by the way. That was just me moving. Yeah, you see, that's me, my, my bum moving rather than me farting. Just it sounded of surprise I could fart. And I was like, huh, that even confused me. Um... Ninety-nine point six. So yeah, it's at ninety-seven point four that we go up to hundred. You can see the AFB is now helping us hold speed. We're putting a little bit of rheostatic so dynamic braking on as we're going down the hill. Some of those German barriers are quite hard to spot. So I've been sanding the horn probably more than I should, but near nah. one of those things, isn't it? One of them dare tings. One of them dare tings. Da 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 da. No! I was sitting with my finger on the switch. You can't do that, train. It's deeply unfair. We only lost like 15k. Mm. Hundred meters till that hundred. You can see the hundred there. Pizza. Okay, I'm going to go and get a couple of potatoes. We'll probably wait until this sign here and then accelerate. These signs are roughly every two hundred meters, so um, the, the, our train's roughly one hundred and fifty meters ish long. No correction. That was seventy-five, so we're about ninety meters long. Pizza. I just always leave it a little bit below so we get 99 so that just means you know even if we go down a really steep slope and it takes the uh, dynamic brake a while to kick in then there shouldn't be any issues Indicative that the AP website would normally be crashed about now, and it's not. Four hundred meters, and then we can do one ten for a bit. Mm 
that's the 110. Nice to see for acknowledge. And there's the 110 in the window. It's 89.8 .8 that we need to be at 100. Let's just see that's still sort of roughly uh, 4.2k. It does feel a lot faster, that 10k extra. It's be, what, about 7 miles an hour, but it just it makes such a difference to my perception of the speed. Roughly 3.2k. Right, we can now slow down to 100, so I'm just going to use my pot of brake for it. And there's 100 and brake off. And then what I'll do is put power back in. Clear that. 99. And it drops down to 90 in about 3k. Oh, there's another train coming towards us. Looks like an empty coal. Well, Ianos can be used, wagons can be used for pretty much anything. So it's hard to tell what that was because I've seen them with gravel lane, I've seen them with coal lane, I've seen them with even um, beets in them. Not beets by driver, actual beets. I think be true. No sugar beet, it was specifically. Specific colour. There's the hundred. That's interesting, I made a mistake in my notes there. Oh well. Again, a mistake trended enough either. It's 86.4, we need to be at 90. And we're not that far from the last station on the route of Ingolst Ingolstadt. Or Ingolstadt, sorry. There's my 90 warnings. I'll acknowledge those. Give it a couple hundred meters and then drop the speed down. I could probably do it just visually. No! No sprung springs on. 
I find that really annoying when it just goes, oh yeah, no, you can just have an emergency break penalty application. Well, I might as well just go, whoop. There you go. I was going to try and break it visually, but you can see that's image that That's the area where the station is, so not that far left at all now. There's the 90s. Okay, 8,000 hertz, so you go down to 85. I'm actually just going to go down to 50 to 60. Mm, no, I'll stick 80 in. Or 70 will be alright. I acknowledge that! You saw me acknowledge that. See, this is what I really don't like about this game at times. <sighs> wonder if this happens to drivers in the real world too. Can you get the engine RPM build? move away pretty rapidly to infinity and beyond bye <laughs> it's just conscious of the 45 limit that's now placed on us which is fine I can put that back in the thing now I just didn't want to rip the wheels off well not rip the wheels off but you know what I mean You can see the station ahead, so I'm just going to acknowledge and then hit 60 in because that's the speed we've got. So, there we go. I'll just hit I have a power on and so that's a little bit of rheostatic brake on. Friends wear and turn the various parts. Power idle. As we get into the platform, again I want to stop near the end. I want to stop near the end on this one. So what we'll do is just set a lump of brake in, well, not near the end but near at the concourse. Right, we'll leave it in the brake application position. So, we'll release the doors and we'll shut down the cab. So, reverser goes neutral. Headlights, they can stay on because it's going to be shunting us. Uh, I'll just set that to full application. And what I'll do is I'll set the parking brake as well. So, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I can't do that. That's fine. So, and then we'll just pop the door open, shut this window, shut that window, and I'll disembark. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to comment, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye for now.